Hey there friends, Nibs again, out here in the garage today, doing a little bit of goofing around, and I got a new one, uh, you guys just saw it the other day in a mail call, uh, or mail call in local bring home, this one's one I found in a local gun shop, and uh, it is a, for me, very exciting pickup for the channel, uh, for the uh, air gun collection, uh, you guys know I like my old legacy springers, I've got a really nice uh, fine work bow model 124 <clears throat> I've got several old Dianas. I've got a Winchester uh, 435 uh, which is an old Diana from 1970 got a couple of uh, got a <clears throat> a Falk up here from the 50s I've got a, a Hanel up here from the 20s or 30s so uh, I really like my old Springers uh, but this one here is pretty cool. I found it at a local uh, gun shop, like I said a minute ago. I think I got a really good deal on it. <clears throat> and uh, you guys already seen the title, but what we have here is a very nice Anschutz Model 335. Uh, I, had, I had one of these in the garage six or eight months ago, uh, working on from David, one of the channel members. Just sent it over to have a, a trigger tune done on it um, and I was able to really tune his trigger up we're gonna take a look at mine I haven't touched it yet um, I've only just shot a couple of pellets across the garage here really is all I've done with it <clears throat> I did do one thing this morning while I was out here working out uh, if you remember from uh, it's actually hard to see on camera here but there is there was a, a really pretty good little whammy in the wood right there and I just uh, I put a little bit of stain on it and I just filled it in with some uh, water-based uh, polyurethane and, and then smoothed it out. I'm not really hot, trying to hide anything. I just more wanted to get the, the wood protected there. It was bare wood at that spot. So uh, more than anything, I just wanted to get that. It's, could use maybe one or two more drops in there to, to fill in the one last little, I can see just a little divot now that I've got it uh, smoothed out. But... Uh, looks pretty good pretty good from a few feet away <laughs> that's all that really matters this is not a <clears throat> not a show gun it's a it's a shooter for sure but uh, it is a really really nice gun we're going to run it across the chronograph here do a couple trigger pulls with it and uh, and then see if I can shoot a couple targets again we're only shooting seven yards across the garage here but I did find a really nice in my bin of uh inserts i found a really nice clear uh, acrylic insert to put up in the front there i don't know if you can even see it but uh, i really like those clear acrylic inserts um, i like the lee shaver ones as well but uh, if i had my choice i'd pick the acrylic ones i think more but uh, i think you can get the job done with either one of those but uh, let's go ahead and get started uh, let me get my Caldwell app running here. Get my screen capture going. And we'll start up. Like most 177s that I do, I like to use the Meister Coogans. They're a seven grain and they do weigh exactly seven grains. So we've got a really good uh, benchmark as far as the performance of uh, most of the guns. <clears throat> I do have some some of the really light ones but uh, I did do a little bit of research and it looks like I found one specification said that this thing would be around a 500 foot per second gun uh, but I did see a few others that said it would be more in the 730 to 750 range so uh, either way I don't know but we'll find out here in a second I guess but uh, let's go ahead and see what we can do I'm not shooting just shooting into my pellet box right now and we have 753 that did record almost nine pound foot pounds of energy that's not bad as long as it's accurate that's all that really matters with a gun like this but uh that's not too bad for what this gun was really intended for Oop, got an error on that one. I haven't used this 
chronograph in a while. <laughs> Just uh, there we go. Seven fifty-seven. Let's do a. Hopefully, get a five shot. Uh, five shot average here. Seven forty-seven. So it seems like the piston head's pretty healthy in it, anyway. Let's do a couple more, and then we'll do a couple of trigger pulls. Caldwells are really, really finicky. You got to have them very centered across the sensors. Seven fifty-five. So we're right there in that. Got a ten foot per second spread so far. Such a such a beautiful gun, though. The the metal on this thing is immaculate. And 751. So again, we're right there in that 10 foot spread. Average of 752. Really pretty good as far as what I found online. Um, looks like a Williams peep sight, but it doesn't say Williams on it anywhere. I don't know if anybody knows. I mean, it, it's bolted right onto the gun, so. Actually, it looks like it slid onto the dovetail, and then there's like three Allen screws there that look like they're locked down onto the top of the thing. So, but it really looks like a Williams style of. I've got a couple other Williams peep sights, and that really looks like the Williams setup right there. But, and then it has this. Uh, Typical Germanish, Germ <laughs> German style globe up front. The other one that I tested uh, from David had a, a little thing on the front here, like a cocking arm. I thought that was uh, like original for it, but I don't know now that if that was or maybe that was just added on. It doesn't have any uh, anything drilled or tapped here for a, a barrel rear sight so like you would normally see on a lot of springers but let's get the old uh, Lyman trigger gauge out here and I had guessed uh, that this was probably around between a one and two pound trigger so let's go ahead and uh, see how close I was Two pounds, four point eight ounces. Very, very light trigger though. Very crisp trigger, I guess I should say. I mean, two two pounds four ounces is not a you know, super light trigger, but when it's crisp, a two pound trigger is can be really nice. So let's do another one. And uh, 2.29, let's do one more and we'll do a three shot average. I kind of missed my bo pellet, uh, rag box on that first one and hit, <laughs> hit the side of my uh, one of my gun cabinets out here. It didn't do any damage to it, but all right, so we got two shots so far. And again, another two pounds, 4.6 ounces. So that gives us an average of two pounds, 4.1 ounces. So I was pretty close on my uh, <laughs> my estimation there. 
So let's go ahead. I'm going to pause this for a second and uh, the same camera that I used to capture my Caldwell uh, chronograph app. I need to set that up for the targets downrange. So I'll uh, get that set up and be right back with you. Stand by. <music> Alrighty, I am back and uh, we'll just do a couple of groups real quick um, just to see how how well I can shoot it <laughs> but uh, it is a uh, really fine shooting gun I haven't taken it apart done anything to it at all about a two pound trigger like we saw just using the Meister Coogans and uh, I got a couple of one inch paster dots across the garage hopefully that will uh, this will be I haven't zeroed it at all so but I do like uh, I do like using that little clear acrylic sighting dot So like that it doesn't have a safety. I'm bobbling all over the place. The gun is <laughs> doing what it's supposed to be doing. Probably should put this in a rest for testing it out like this, but I really like this uh, latch up front here. Thing locks up like a bank vault. Bank vault. Bad. Probably could use just a little, a little bit of an adjustment up. Do one more, and then we'll shoot another one and shoot a separate group. That looks pretty good. Let me uh, real quick. I'm gonna bring that up just a little, just a little bit. So we want to loosen this side screw just a touch, and then so four or five clicks there since that this uh, screwdriver fits that slot really well All right. kind of like a I like a springer with uh, <laughs> be able to shoot them with peep sights <laughs> I know I brought it up. <laughs> guess, I guess it'll need a few more clicks. <laughs> bit of spring tar on the spring play with the trigger a little bit this thing will be magnificent I can't do much better shooting offhand <laughs> So 
So uh, stuck around towards the end of the video here. I got a little little uh, surprise for you guys coming real soon. A uh, another fine work bow uh, air gun. I'm not gonna say any more until it shows up. But uh, stick around, you'll be seeing something really, really cool. Not bad, not bad at all. So there you go. That is the uh, really kind of the first shakeout of the Anschutz 335. Really pretty air gun. Uh, so I didn't say earlier, but so this is uh, the Anschutz 335 was made between. 1980 and about 2003 or 4 uh, depending on where I read this one does say it was made in West Germany so we kind of know our history uh, reunification of Germany happened in 89 so uh, probably this one was made sometime between 1980 and 1989 uh, after that it would have just said made in Germany <clears throat> but uh, really really cool there's no date code on it anywhere so that's about as close as i'll probably ever get with it but uh fantastic fantastic little air rifle so be going head to head up against my uh fine work bow and my virau hw 50s and my cometa 300 <laughs> that's that cometa 300 is a really nice gun too so but uh Hope you guys liked the video. Till next time, have a great day.